You're watching a very special broadcast of Victory Today. It's Morris Cirillo's Mission to London, The Last Crusade, recorded live over six spectacular days in London, England. Tonight, this is your night for God to start the miracle in your being. God moved in a mighty way. Souls were saved, hearts, minds, and bodies were healed as the presence of God flowed like liquid fire across the majestic Earl's Court. If you don't cry out, he will pass you! Morris Cirillo assembled some of the most anointed preachers in all of the world to stand, to speak, and impart words of hope and healing to tens of thousands in attendance, millions by satellite and internet. This is a moment for the ages. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, it's over. Don't turn the dial, call a friend. Get ready to receive a blessing that will change your life your family, your ministry forever. Now, please welcome World Evangelism's Vice President of Ministries, Greg Moore. I am super excited about this special edition of Victory with Morris Rillo. Why? I have just come back from the most incredible, historic, and last crusade that Brother Srillo will ever conduct on the earth. We have returned from London, England, the historic Earl's Court, one of the most amazing lineups of men and women of God that came to stand on the platform of Earl's Court with God's servant to honor God's servant's 68 years of incredible ministry to the nations of the world to be a part of this last ever mission to London. You are about to see some of the most incredible, exciting, dynamic clips from Earl's Court. And I want to encourage you, you're going to have an opportunity during this program, what an amazing offer to get the eight DVDs from Earl's Court, messages from Kenneth Copeland, from Creflo Dollar, Tommy Barnett. Brother Srillo was under such an anointing in the Wednesday night service every night thousands coming to Christ every day, thousands that are being trained, built into the army of God across Europe. We're going to take you right now to see for yourself what God did as Kenneth Copeland came to the platform, as Brother Cirillo came to the platform, as Io Aritzajafor, an incredible man who God raised up through the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry, who is now the president of all of the Christian churches across Nigeria. Take a look at this. I am asking God, this mission must not be another normal conference experience. This mission must move the Church of Jesus Christ in Europe, in London. Now is God's time. It is all over. The glory of God is about to come upon you. Before I go any further, how many of you came to the Lord through this ministry, the Cerullo's ministry? May I see your hand? How many of you came to the Lord through the Cerullo's ministry? How many of you have been taught and trained through this ministry? Whoa, praise God. Amen. Well, all of you here tonight that have not been born again, you are going to be before the night's over. Because it is divine destiny that you're here tonight. This is no accident. And I'm, I'm glad to be here. I was born to be here. God planned these things before the foundation of the world. And I'm right where I'm supposed to be. We are called of God to give God's people something to say. That's our job. Preach the Word. You preach religion, people say religion, and God's not obligated to work. 
but you preach the Word and people say the Word and the Father that dwells within, He does the Word. Whoa! Glory to God! The same God that slung this universe into existence. The same God. The same one that was there in that temple that day. The same one is dwelling in you. The same Jesus has anointed you to preach the gospel to the poor. The same Jesus has anointed you for the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. And he's anointed you to preach the gospel. Ladies and gentlemen, my story can never be told without Boris Arullo. It's never complete. When, when I tried to get out yesterday at the airport, people, what are you, what's going on? I said, you can't understand. <laughs> I said, my life depends on this. I have to be there. I have to. One of the things we must continue to learn in church is relationship. God is not just looking for people. He's looking for a people whom he can call his own. It, it, it's, it's incredible to know that you can be connected to God but it's, it's, it's something else when you know that there are men on earth that know God and you can be connected to them. I, I believe at this time that Morris Lolo is not, is not talking about how many souls is winning. How many, he's, I mean, it is about how many I'm winning now. I, I prophesy on you. There is a reply coming. 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 In the name that is above every other name. I don't know the letter they've written to you, but the God whom I serve. If you believe it, wave your hand and shout, yes! Well, praise the Lord. Was that incredible? I tell you, there is nobody like Pastor Ayo Aritza Jafor and the love that he has for Morris and for Teresa, for the partners, and how God used him at Mission to London. You have got to see that entire message, Brother Copeland's entire message. Brother Srill, I have never been, I told many that were there, in my 30 years with Dr. Srill, I have never remembered a singular encounter like the encounter that we had on Wednesday night with the presence of God. You're just seeing a clip of this, but you're gonna have an opportunity to take this mission to London and show it in your home, in your churches, share it with your friends. It was absolutely incredible. And now I am so excited. You're gonna to get to see just a little clip of Creflo Dollar, Bill Winston, and Brother Cirillo. Again, this message that Creflo Dollar brought on grace, one of the most life-changing, defining moments that I can remember in a mission to London. Pastor Bill Winston, pastor of the Great Living Word Church in Chicago, over 20,000 members. What an incredible encounter with the Word of God. And then Brother Srillo, once again, can you believe this is a man, 82 years young, 68 years of ministry, and he's just saying, God, Give us souls in London and across Europe. I asked the Lord, I said, Father, I know that there must be amazing things going on in this meeting with Brother Cirillo. And I, and I wanted so desperately to be here out of honor to what he has done all of these years, the impartation that he has made in this land. And, and it is truly an honor to be here with him and to stand before you. And I am on an assignment, and 
Tonight, as I begin to share these things, I want you to know how much I love you. Paul says, for I am not ashamed of this gospel of Christ, or I'm not ashamed of the gospel of grace. Then he says, for this gospel of grace, whoo, that this gospel of grace is the power, whoo, Jesus, that this gospel of grace is the power of God. He says, I'm not ashamed of this gospel of grace because this gospel of grace is the power of God, and it'll bring you unto salvation. Now, that word salvation does not just refer to born again. It includes born again, but it's not limited just to born again. That word salvation comes from a Greek word, sozo, and it means your deliverance. It is your soundness. It is your preservation. It is your prosperity. It is everything that pertains to life and godliness. It is all the finished works of Jesus Christ, and he says that the gospel of grace is the power to bring you unto all of the finished works of Jesus Christ. It is the power that will bring you to born again. It is the power that will bring you to healing. It is the power that will bring you to prosperity. It is the power that will make you sound. It is the power that will make you whole. It is the power that will deliver you. What is that power? It is the gospel of grace that will give you unmerited favor to walk in total salvation. All the finished works of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for having me here, and certainly thank you to the Cirillo team for being so gracious to my team and I, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, just experience of being here and being a part of anything that Dr. Mar Cirillo is, is having. I tell you, God, God's hand is truly on his life and been there for years. Let's give he and his team a, another round of applause just to tell the Lord thank you. I believe that God is raising up a new generation of leaders for a new level of challenges that are coming into the earth. I think we are about to endure things that we've never endured before. We're about to see things happen that we've never seen happen before on this earth. So we're going to have to have a level of solutions that we've never had before. And that comes from the church. You are the world's only hope. Without the church, the world will self-destruct. And the reason why is because they're sowing to the flesh. And he that soweth to the flesh shall reap what? corruption or destruction. So it's a natural thing. They're not doing it on purpose. They're just operating in a lower system called the kingdom of darkness. And so you and I have to be there to not only bring light to the world, but preserve the earth. The sign of the time is that you're seeing terrorism rise. And so you should know that it must be a sign that the Joshua generation is rising. And I'm telling you that you are the generation that God has been waiting for. You are the ones that God's going to use to go over and get the land which God promised to his people. Say amen to that. Now, I don't care how old or how young you are, if you are breathing and can take nourishment, you are part of this modern-day army. You want the miracle of salvation? Stand here, and I'm going to pray for God to take the cup of trembling out of your hand, give you the miracle. Say this little simple prayer. Dear God, Dear God I come to you tonight. I come to you tonight. Just as I am. Just as I am. I thank you. I thank you for your love. For your love. I thank you. I thank you for Jesus. For Jesus. Your son. Your son. Who has the power. Who has the power. And right now. And right now. Cleanses me. Cleanses me from all my sin. From all my sin. I am free. I belong to God. I belong to God. I am 
his child. I am his child. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Praise the Lord. That is what Mission to London has been all about for 20 years. It's one word. It's the heartbeat of God. Somebody say souls. You know, the greatest miracle in all the world is the miracle of a changed life. I tell you, night after night there at Earl's Court, to be on that platform and to see young people and to see men and women coming to that altar to receive the cleansing flow of the blood of Jesus Christ. What an honor, what a privilege to stand by the side of a man of God like Mara Cirillo that would have this incredible vision. And I can't wait for you to get this mission to London these incredible DVDs into your home. Share them with your friends. Watch them. You'll be blessed. But before we tell you how you can have this full Mission to London set, I want to take you back to Earl's Court. Pastor Steve Muncy was in rare, incredible form, preaching a message on blind Bartimaeus. An incredible miracle happened in Earl's Court as he preached this message. You're going to see it. Bishop John Francis gave some of the most incredible accolades to Dr. Cirillo. You'll hear them, but I tell you, the word that God gave to Bishop Francis was incredible. And then finally, America's pastor, one of the great men of God on the planet today, one of our incredible board of directors for Morris Cirillo World Evangelism, the one and only Pastor Tommy Barnett. What a message. Get ready. We're going to take you back now to Earl's Court. And the Bible says, watch, watch. He doesn't shout it out. And Jesus walks by him. If you don't cry out, he will pass you up. You may be seated. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. A little girl in the wheelchair, if you hadn't walked, honey, baby, you need to get ready because this afternoon you're going to walk. Anybody in a wheelchair, you're going to walk. Anybody blind, you're going to see. Anybody want to get out of debt, you're going to get out of debt. I hit her arm and said, you're going to walk. She's up out of the wheelchair. Somebody shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Oh, come on, shout hallelujah again. Now put your hands together for Jesus. He is the best thing that could ever happen. Um, I'm excited to be here. Um, just had one of those whole week, last couple of weeks of so much going on, but I'm excited to be in Earl's Court uh, on this great last and final mission to London in Earl's Court. I want you to do something for me. I, I don't say this lightly, but I remember years ago, I think I was probably not even in my teens yet, and my mother took me to the Royal Albert Hall. I was a little boy, just a little boy. That's how long Dr. Sorello's been into this country. And I remember she bringing me to his crusades, and I was seeing miracles after miracles. And over the years, Dr. Sorello has exposed the UK to great preachers. Before anybody, anybody did it, he was the one who brought Shambach to us. Anybody remember Shambach? Marilyn Hickey, anybody remember Marilyn Hickey? We got to know all of these great preachers. You know, the blessed thing was, my mother moved from the UK, my parents, and moved to Miami. In those days, I used to go to uh, America. I didn't get my green card. They got their green card. And because I just turned 16, they told me I had to reapply because I was of age. And so I used to every, about three times for the year, go to Miami because my parents lived there. And I would literally watch TBN. That was before we had any God channel over here, no Revelation TV no love world there was no christian tv and i used to look be stuck to tbn and see all of these great preachers and slowly one after the one after dr sorella would bring them over here he has never got the credit he should really get all of these great churches that is happening in our city it can all be traced back to the gift that god gave to us would you celebrate really loud for Dr. Morris Sorello? I give God thanks for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you believe he got fun in church? Say good amen. amen. It's fun being saved, amen. knowing Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Well, you know, I'm so glad to be with Morris and Tracy. You know, a week ago they celebrated their... 180th anniversary of being married. I don't know how long, but it's a long time. And they're serving of God. I love them dearly. They're some of the greatest friends in the, all of the world. They helped us build and finish up the great Dream Center in Los Angeles. And it's great to be with them. All of these esteemed men of God on the platform. I love the men of God. I love pastors, fellas. God is using men of God to touch this nation. And I believe in the local church with all of my heart. Give these men a good hand. Don't you thank God for them? Thank God. Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. He said, give. That's your part. And God said, it shall be given unto you. That's God's part. The point is, God is waiting for you to do something. God is waiting on you to move. God is waiting for you to go after the kingdom. God is waiting for you to go after the vision and the purpose that he has in your life. But he does give you starting grace. But he waits till we get started. We move towards the vision. And we don't even know how God has brought it as far as he has. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank God for Pastor Tommy Barnett. I mean, you have just seen such a short little snippet of what each one of these incredible men of God had to deliver at Mission to London. You can have the entire set of every one of these messages. Our announcer is coming in just a moment. There's a website, a phone number, Get your pencil, get your pen ready. If the phone number is busy, write it down, call it again. Our announcer's coming, and there is a special bonus. If you order this Mission to London incredible classic set within the next 30 minutes, 
you'll receive not only all of these incredible men of God and the ministry, the message, the move of God in Earl's Court, but I tell you something, the music, the ministry of song in Earl's Court was unlike anything we have ever experienced before. And you will receive as a special bonus DVD some of the highlights of the Mission to London praise and worship and music ministry. I tell you what, you will have camp meeting in your house. You will have Mission to London wherever you live. It will bless you. God bless you today for being a part of Mission to London. And remember this, you're a part of God's end time plan and God has not planned any defeats for you. Take a look at this. It's Mara Cirillo's Mission to London, The Last Crusade, recorded live over six spectacular nights in London, England. You just watched the incredible highlights. Now is your time to receive the entire full-length messages on DVD. Hear prophecy from Mara Cirillo, who, after 68 years of ministries, continues to raise up God's victorious army, train nationals, and deliver revelation direct from God. Hear from special invited guests such as Creflo Dollar, Bill Winston, Kenneth Copeland, Iowa Ritzajafor, Tommy Barnett, John Francis, and Steve Muncy. It's your time to be blessed mightily. Pick up the phone and call the toll-free number on the screen. Don't hesitate. There never will be such a collection of powerful, anointed words spoken at one time, in one place, as captured on this special Mission to London DVD set. It will transform your life. When you call, ask for TV offer code 6172. That's TV offer code 6172. When you sow your gift into the ministry of only $39.95, you will be sent a gift that will bless you time after time after time. Believe it, God moved in a mighty way in London. Souls were saved, hearts, minds, and bodies were healed as the presence of God flowed like liquid fire across the majestic Earl's Court. And so too will God move mightily for you. Touch your heart, mind, and bring healing. I want God to take away every one of your sins. And when you call now, for a limited time, Mara Cirillo will send you a special Mission to London Praise and Worship Compilation DVD. Hear from such amazingly gifted award-winning artists from the London Community Gospel Choir. award-winning singer and songwriter, the one and only Noel Robinson. Don't miss this limited opportunity to receive this amazing collection of anointed speakers and music from Mara Cirillo's Mission to London, The Last Crusade. So, and receive your gift today.